Uh, we just want to ask, uh, Francisco, how was your life before you received Jesus Christ? And what was the thing that you struggled with? Uh, well, I struggled with depression and like suicidal thoughts as well. And uh, like as I was struggling through that, like I felt like, like I, I didn't really think like I had very much going for me in life. And then, and then one time my mom, she invited me to go to church over here because like Glenn invited her. And, and then like, but she did like the night before. So it was like at night before going to bed. And I was like, I was still contemplating if I should go or not. And I was like making all the excuses in my head. Was, like, should I go? Or should I just stay? Make an excuse. It's like, no, I don't need to go, you know? And then when I woke up in the morning, it was just like, because like the, the night before, she said, like, promise me you'll go with me. And I said, I was like, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> So, in the morning, she says, like, she immediately got up, and she came to ask me, like, she came to my room, she was asking me, like, are you coming with me to church? And I was like, uh, I can't really say no now. <laughs> it's, like, so hard to say no. And that was actually the first time I actually met Glenn as well. So, that morning, you came to church for the first time when your mom brought you right for how long did you struggle with depression and kind of like those you know suicidal thoughts i struggled with those suicidal thoughts for at least like six or even seven years okay. and so what happened during that service that sunday morning how did you receive jesus christ and how was your life different afterwards well during that time like, when I first got to church, Glenn asked me, like, right away, he's like, would you like to give your life to Jesus? And I was like, what does that even mean? <laughs> I was, like, confused. And he was like, I was like all right, I'll, I'll just, you know, I'll just wait until the end of the service, and then I'll call you up, and then if you, you make a decision by then, you know, you can do it. And I was like, okay. So as the sermon went on, at towards the end, like, I thought, I was like, okay, I'll give it a try, and I'll see what happens. And then he called me up, and then I gave my life to Jesus that, that very day. Come on, you guys. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. You know, that's the best decision that a person can ever make in their life is to surrender the life for Christ. And after that, uh, what happened to your life? Like, what happened with the depression that you were struggling? Well, the depression pretty much went away. Like, it felt completely different. And then actually that exact same day, like, Glenn was like, was like hey, you want to go, you know, evangelize? And I was like, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> so the same day you, after you received Jesus, you went evangelizing to other people. Wow, this is so awesome. Come on. Our God is so amazing. And this is one of so many examples that, you know, so many different lives changed and how God touches lives. We're just so happy for you, Francisco. We know that, you know, when doors of the church are open, you are there. You know, you're serving now in different uh, departments in church and you're always willing to serve. And we are so happy to see this change in you and what God did in your life, setting you free from depression and I want you to guys just be encouraged you know when you surrender your life to Christ he comes in and he just changes things around and last thing I would like to ask you what was what is your advice to people who might be struggling with depression and they don't know Jesus Christ what would you suggest to them I would say like don't give up because in the, the moments that you feel like God's not watching you and that God's like not actually you know, seeing you in your struggle, and times like you're, you know, you're crying out, you know, into the darkness, and you feel like that's, you're not even being heard, he actually does hear you. Like in those times when you, when you feel that you are worthless and that you feel like you're nothing, you're actually worth everything, because that's why he sent Jesus Christ to the cross to die for us. Amen. Wow, this is so awesome. Thank you so much. I almost teared up. So powerful. God is there in your lowest point of the time. Amen. And uh, Francisco, we know that you don't have a car at the moment and you know you've been uh, coming and asking for rights, for people giving you rights and you're serving here at church faithfully. And you know, today this is going to change. 
And we as a church, we have uh, an amazing surprise for you prepared. And uh, yeah, we want to give you a car. Here we go. We're just like blown away, you know, how God changes lives. And we want to be a, a part of that, you know, just a small thing of giving you a car. Thank you so much. <laughs> He's like shocked. <laughs> That's awesome. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything. Thank you for watching this content. I know this was a blessing to you. We would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell on our channel so that each time we upload something, you can be notified. Don't forget to share this content with your friends and family and on social media. We're so thankful to you. Better is not good enough. The best is yet to come. <laughs>